वेलकम स्टूडेंट्स इन माय न्यू ट्यूटोरियल एंड टुडे आई बी टीचिंग यू हाउ टू क्रिएट अ न्यू स्टाइल इन माय प्रीवियस ट्यूटोरियल आई हैव टॉट यू अबाउट डिफरेंट स्टाइल्स व्हिच आर प्रेजेंट इन लिबरल ऑफिस एंड टुडे इफ वी नीड टू मेक अ ओन स्टाइल हाउ टू डू दैट सो देयर आर टू वेज फर्स्ट वे इज क्रिएटिंग बाय सिलेक्शन एंड सेकंड वे इज क्रिएटिंग बाय ड्रैग एंड ड्रॉप मेथड so directly i'll take you towards the screen and practically i'll teach you how to do that so now i'm back in the screen and uh, to have a random paragraph i'll type here dt and f3 so what is the keyboard shortcut dt and f3 you could see here and then so randomly it will take some paragraph some text so it saves our time now already i have taught you about these styles paragraph character frame page list styles table styles and then fill format mode so i'll be clicking upon character styles and now i want to change some formattings just to make my own style so what i'll do here i'll select some text here suppose the color i need as purple font i want to change suppose okay christian and uh, size i want to change 24 and character highlighting color okay light yellow so once i have done this so two ways i have told you so for making my own style firstly i'll follow the way of creating by selection so this way i'll be teaching you what i'll do here directly i'll go under the styles here and then see if your styles are not visible always you can click upon styles this option is here or press alt plus 2 alt plus 2 will bring the styles option bar here and then from here you could see here styles actions i'll click upon this and then after clicking upon this drop down option bar comes in front of you so you could see here new style from selection so i will click upon this option here and as a result it is asking to enter a name for a new style so i'll give the name as style 1 so i have given my own name and i click upon okay you could see here under the character styles this style one name is coming this is my own style so it becomes easier for me now i can apply this style upon any text how to do that suppose i'll select this text now i want to apply this style directly i'll double click it you could see the style is applied i can apply it anywhere so i hope the way is clear to you how to do that now the second way creating by drag and drop method so this way we will be learning in this way what we will do suppose i'll be taking this paragraph i'll select the text and then the same way i'll change the font color suppose this time i am selecting dark green then font suppose i have taken this one so once i have done this and uh, the background color also that means the character highlighting color i'll change it 
suppose light red after doing all these formattings now i'll go to styles under styles i have selected a character styles if it is not visible now what i have to do simply i'll select where i have done the changes and i'll drag it down where i'll drag it suppose i'll press here left mouse button where quiet is written i'll drag it i'll press left mouse button directly i'll take it here and i'll leave it here inside this styles and as a result new style from selection dialog box comes here and i'll give the name here so i have given the name here style 2 click on okay and as a result you could see here the name style 2 now the same way i can apply this style anywhere double click it you could see i can easily apply my second style also so i hope you have learned this method also drag and drop so we have learned both the methods how to create a new style by creating by selection and creating by drag and drop method okay now the next topic updating a new style update a new style from a selection and second way load a style from a template or another document so firstly we will be doing this update a new style from a selection just now we had made two styles suppose i am taking this style only just now what uh, we had made the second style i'll select this style and now i'll do the changes here suppose size i am increasing so i've increased the size phone suppose i am making it to arial black okay color i am changing into red and character highlighting light line 3 it's been done then directly we'll go to style section and from there we'll click upon update selected style we'll click upon this and as a result the style is being changed you could see it here now the style 2 is being changed wherever i'll click it the text will come according to the new selections or new formattings so i hope you are very much clear how to go ahead now the next topic load a style from a template or another document now we need to load a style from some another document or a template i'll explain you how to do that suppose we will save this file i'll click upon file save as first time will when will save it will come save as only i'll click on save as so under my desktop and under students i'll give the name as styles or i'll give the name as my styles i'll click on save now you see then when i had made these styles my own styles are visible here but when i'll take a new document so i'll close this one now if i want to take a new document suppose this is the writer document i'll click upon this this is the blank one and now if i'll check character styles here 
you will see here the style which I had made is not available. Why they are not available? Because that styles are saved in my previous document. The name which I have given as styles, my styles. The name of the document is been given as my styles. And that document I have already saved. So how to load that styles? So it's very easy. Now for loading the style, what I'll do, I'll click under the styles and styles actions. Here the option is load styles from template. I'll click upon this. Here the options are templates, but I have not saved as a template. I have saved as a file. So I'll click here at the bottom from file. That means just now the file which I have saved as a document. I'll click upon from file. And here I'll go under desktop where I have saved. In your case, it can be different. In my case, it is under desktop students. And I have given the name as my styles. Because just now I have given the name as my styles. I'll click upon open. Now, if you will see here, under character style, you will see now my styles are present. So, we will see the working also. DT F3 and uh, random paragraph is here. So, now I can click upon my styles. Uh, I have to select the text, of course. And as a result, I can apply my styles. So, I hope you have easily understood the ways how to create a style and you have also learned how to update a new style from a selection and how to load a style from a template or another document. So with this, I'll be closing my this tutorial. And if you like my explanation, then please do like, share and comment and also subscribe my channel if you have not subscribed it earlier. Okay, bye-bye. Take care. Meet you soon in my next tutorial.